wherever you are right now, whatever you're doing, I encourage you to stop. Just stop. Take a deep breath. Relax. And listen to a quote from Ben Guise. So many people live hollow and empty lives in an endless pursuit to accumulate wealth and status. Instead, we should focus on amassing the more intangible treasures of life, the moments that crystallize into memories and the bonds we forge with the people who enrich our journeys. Because true happiness dwells in the ephemeral, the unquantifiable, the things that can be neither bought nor sold, but instead etched indelibly into our hearts forever. And he goes on to say, We followed our dreams and led with our hearts, and we did it with people we love. And as we collect more of these beautiful moments, we hope that you'll be inspired to go out and do the same. Turn off the screens, clock out, and enjoy your ride. That was beautifully said, Ben. We know very well how fortunate we are, we motorcycle riders, to have something that we so enjoy doing. We're very fortunate. We've talked about that a lot. But there's so many people who just need a kind word, who just need a smile. People we know and people we haven't met yet. On this episode, we're just going to be talking about that, about windows of opportunity, perhaps, and how to step right through it. Thank you for joining me today. Recorded in beautiful Loveland, Colorado, welcome to Peace Love Moto, the podcast for motorcyclists seeking that peaceful, easy feeling as we cruise through this life together. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm traveling for work these days every week. Yeah, it's um it's pain, <laughs> but I must admit I'm getting used to it. I'm beginning to develop a rhythm for it and yeah, it's it's turned out to be something relatively pleasant now. But I'm paying more attention at the airports. I love to walk watch people. I love to talk to strangers every chance I get. But at the airport, as you probably know, you you've probably heard the announcements that gate agents will make. I bet you've heard this one. For those with tickets on flight 417, your plane is now boarding. Please proceed to the boarding area now as once the doors are closed, they will not reopen. In other words, they're saying, if you've missed this opportunity, you've missed it. You've missed your flight. It reminds me of how we make all sorts of good plans, right? For motorcycle rides, plans for our vacations, plans for retirement, even plans for doing something nice for someone else. Good intentions, but unless we really do what we're planning to do, that opportunity is lost. And that opportunity may be lost forever. We just don't know. And given that time never seems to go in reverse, this side of heaven anyway, a window of opportunity when it closes, it too. It just may never reopen. I'm beginning to know my listeners now, and I know what you're thinking to yourself. You're thinking, Ron, at the beginning of this episode, you told me to stop and listen, and now I'm thoroughly depressed. Well, sorry about that. Now is the time that we're going to turn it around, because let's talk about specific solutions for making this world a better place. Let's start with a start with a smile. Greet everyone you interact with, whether it's the barista at your favorite coffee shop or a stranger on the street. Have a smile. Some people will be shocked to see that. Just a smile. And then, you know, be a good listener too. When someone's talking with you, just listen to what they have to say first. Because if they have something on their mind, most likely they want to get that out before they are open to any input from you. So be a good listener. Do the simple things too. For folks 
who are behind you in line walking into a building, hold the door open for them, especially if it's someone who may need a little extra help. And speaking of extra help, there are so many people who need extra help, either people out on the streets or people that you may hear about who are running into some financial difficulties, whether it's for paying for groceries or making a house payment or whatever. Let's do what we can to lift the load from someone else. And give back to your community. Give back to the world. I'm so excited that once again this year, in a couple of weeks, my wife and I will be volunteering as hosts for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, the worldwide effort to raise, raise funds and raise awareness for men's health, prostate cancer research, and suicide prevention. We're very proud to be a part of that, and that'll be the focus of next week's episode. Be kind online, too. You know, uh, we we got to be careful out there. There's too many people that are attracting attention just because they're just such nasty people and have such nasty things to say about others. It doesn't matter if someone's opinion is different than yours. That's fine. We all have a right to do that. But I don't think we have to criticize them as a person. Just just saying that. Express gratitude for life. You know, those of us who are motorcycle riders, we've talked about this before, right? I mean, we've got a motorcycle in the garage that somehow we were able to afford, able to pay for or make the, uh, make the payments on. We've got the health, the physical health to be able to do it because it takes a good amount of physical health and dexterity to ride a motorcycle, but we've got the mental health to be able to do that too. And so many people are suffering, suffering from mental health issues these days. And maybe a couple more things. Let's be a role model. Let's be a role model as we're motorcycles out there, motorcycle riders out there on the road. Let's be those folks who don't follow us quite so closely, who pass safely, and who give a wave occasionally. And then finally this, it's very integral to this podcast, Random Acts of Kindness. Let's do something kind for someone who doesn't expect it and may not even deserve it in our mind. Because oftentimes I find that if I can do something for someone else, maybe bring a smile or maybe they're not even aware that I did it for them, the joy comes back to me. I did it for myself because I feel great. And finally this, back to our window of opportunity theme. Take an opportunity to express kindness to yourself. To take a moment to not necessarily pat yourself on the back, but again, just to take that deep breath and just be grateful. Just be grateful for who you are, the people around you, maybe some of the things you've amassed, like a motorcycle that you care about. And just take a moment to look to the stars and say, thank you. That will be time well spent. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you peace and I wish you love.